Hey everybody! Sorry for uh, the lack of video this past week. I actually um, decided to take a long-term substitute teaching job uh, that goes until the rest of the school year. So it's uh, made me a little bit busier than normal. So anyhow, I had this um, new idea for a way to finish uh, traditional embroidery pieces, so I just wanted to show you really quick. So we'll get started here. So first of all, I made this uh, set of little cardinals with the four seasons. It's from Embroidery Library, in case you're wondering. And I wanted to have them hang up on the wall and be identical in size. It's actually a birthday gift for my mom. So um, I asked my husband to help me out, and um, this is what he came up with. Uh, this is a piece of quarter inch plywood, you can see right there. And for this design, it's um, each, each one of these birds, here's another one, it's around eight by eight. So I had him cut uh, 10 by 10 inch squares, and then he just drilled a little hole here for the, for the nails so it can be hung on the wall. And then I uh, stitched everything. I am using a cutaway stabilizer, medium weight. And this is a cotton duck canvas from Joanne Fabrics. You've seen me use this pretty often. So I use that and then um, piece, it's about 14 inches square. So that gives you some out of an idea of you know how much extra to use, but it's all going to depend on the size of the design that you're stitching. So we have this. Then you are going to need some high temp hot glue some binder clips, uh, just big enough to fit around the piece of wood, and I'll show you in a moment what that's for. And then optional is a piece of felt for the backing. Um, I thought this looked really nice and it didn't take too long to do, so and there you go. And then if, if, it, uh, if a wind hits it and it bangs into the, the wall, then it's not so loud because it's got the, the felt on there. All right. So the first step is going to be to um, take one of your uh, pieces of wood and then set your design over it. Now, of course you want to center it. So what I do is I'm just kind of folding it over and eyeballing it at first to make sure it's centered. So this looks okay. So what I'm going to do then is take my binder clips and clip this fabric in place. Now you want to stretch it out in case um, you've got some, um, some little bumps on your fabric. Like if it's a really des dense design like this, it might do that. And then do the other two sides. And then the last one. Alright, then we're going to take a look at it. So this looks almost good. I think it's a little bit too far in this direction. So what I'll do is I'll take off these two binder clips and then just kind of pull it along a little bit. Just a little. Then I'm going to check it again. I'll put the clips back on. And then I'll check it again. And now I think it looks good. So the next step Now here's a here's this uh, summer design is that you're going to glue the sides. Now I worked ahead a little bit just um, for the sake of making the video brief, but what you're going to do then is you are going to and I'll go back to this one start gluing one side at a time. So here's what I do: I just squeeze some glue on about half of half of the side and then fold it over. Be careful, this is really hot. Um, it, it might bother you. Uh, however, if you're a frequent crafter like myself, uh, you're probably used to um, hot glue. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but anyway, just press it down and then just check on the other side and make sure everything's smooth and straight and then go over to the opposite side. 
So I'm just going to do part of this one because I think you get the idea. So just like that. Then do the other side. And that looks good. Then you can go ahead and take the binder clip off and then you can squirt a little bit more glue into that spot that the binder clip was blocking. So there you go, you get the idea. So you continue around, do all the other sides, and then let me go back to this one. This one has been glued everywhere except for this top side right here. So let me get this binder clip back. So again, we're just putting a little line of glue on there. And then just hold it down, add more glue. And don't have to be neat. This is never going to be seen from this part. Okay, it's looking very nice. All right, and then we have our hanging hole right here. You can either just poke a, a hole through the fabric or you can do a little cutout. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to put some glue right up here to make sure it's everything is stable and sturdy. All right, so I'm just gonna get that glue gun tip underneath here and put a bunch of glue under there. So this looks pretty decent. I think I might have, maybe I should have used a second layer of cutaway on this, but anyway. So then the next part is to cut away this excess. So let me show you how I do that. So I'm just going to start with the, uh, the largest part, and I want to leave a good inch along the, the edge here, and I'm just going to cut away that excess. So just cut all the way across, and then leave the corners intact for now because we are going to apply some more glue to those in just a moment. So just cut along all these little corners and all these edges. like I had some extra glue on the side because it's all the way up to there. That's okay. All right. So I am going to just do these couple so you can just so you get an idea. And then for the corners, what I did was I just put some glue into the corner and just like a, a diagonal line like that and then just really pull on it tightly and press it down, see? And then double check on the front to make sure it looks good. And then just hold it for, I'd say about you know 10 seconds just to make sure that everything is secure. And then just do that on all the other sides. Then you can cut off your excess. There we go. I just want to cut it so that it's not visible from the front side. See, and then you just repeat that for all the other ones. And then it, again, you can either leave it like this since it's not going to be seen, but if you would like to take an, a, an extra step, you can put a piece of felt on back. This is just regular acrylic felt. Doesn't, doesn't matter what kind it is. And then I took a sharp scissors and I just poked made a little snip right there so that the nail can still get in that little hole to hang up. So that is yet another option for you to, um, to turn your uh, embroidery designs that you stitch into some really cool wall art. Very cool, huh? Um, so hope this was helpful to you. Um, if it was, um, please click on the like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you click the notification bell, it will, uh, YouTube will notify you next time I upload a video. So hopefully I can get you some more um, probably next week since it's spring break for us and unfortunately the whole country is being shut down for the coronavirus. I hope all of you are, are well and continue to be. So thank you so much for watching and happy crafting.